Hi, I'm Emmanuel with T2S. T2S stands for Transformed to Succeed. We equip our students with the skills in the areas of DevOps as well as uh, cloud. Also, we work with small uh, business companies to uh, modernize their infra infrastructure, leveraging on cloud as well as uh, the latest DevOps uh, technologies. In this particular video, what I'm going to discuss with you or what I'm going to share with you is how you can deploy CloudWatch log groups, log streams, and, and then you can send, um, create a topic, an SNS topic. I will explore, I will elaborate more on that as we jump into uh, our video. So let's, I'm going to show you what you're going to need. What you're going to need first is you need the Terraform uh, configuration files. That's what I'll be using. I'm going to use Terraform to provision CloudWatch log groups, log streams, and create an SNS topic on AWS. You will need to have an account, of course, with AWS. You're going to need to, to have uh, Terraform installed and configured on your local machine. Also, you need to make sure that you have configured your local machine to communicate with you, your account on AWS. These are the files that you're going to need to cre create. You, you can just uh, set up a, di a working direct direct directory uh, depending on what you want to accomplish and in my case i'll call it cloudwatch sns directory you can do something like that create four files basically when i'm using terraform to deploy to deploy or provision an infrastructure whether it's a very simple infrastructure or a very complex uh, infrastructure like in this case, it's a very simple uh, infrastructure that has two components here, actually three, CloudWatch log group, CloudWatch log stream, and an SNS topic. So I create, usually I have a main uh, TF file, and this uh, TF file will have this configuration here. You have the resources that you want to create. And as I said, you see here, that's the log group that I have to create, the log stream. And, and then I have to set the me metric alarms that I want to, uh, the metrics that I want to uh, keep track uh, of. To do that, you create a metric alarm and then you, you're going to have to specify if it's, uh, if it's CPU, if it's memory utilization, or disk space. So I do that. The next file that I always have, it's a, an output file, which will display the log group name, the log, group, uh, the log stream name, the SNS topic ARN. The Terraform TF vars, that's a form a file which allows you to input variables into the environment uh, that uh, where you want to uh, provision your infrastructure. It goes together with uh, variables. For security purposes, you don't have to publish this, right? So you you can uh, do this, uh, input your variables on your uh, local system. And you can use the TF, uh, the export TF var uh, command, and then you add the rest uh, that you need, uh, the rest of the values that you need to uh, input into your system, uh, into your in environment. Also, you can go to my my GitHub. If you go to my GitHub, 
uh, account here you're gonna find this specific uh the specific scripts that that i'm gonna use here so this is the the one that i'm using you, you just clean or git clone uh, this uh, uh repository you're gonna need to cd into you're gonna need to cd into the into this directory and just follow the the steps here so you do that i will also attach this link into uh the notes uh so yeah you know you watch the video then just you, you take advantage of that all right you go here cloud watch look at the log groups we have only these ones that i created like a, a week ago but we're gonna create a new one a new log group and of course we'll ha have a new log stream and if you go to the sns which is simple <clears throat> notification service on aws which allows you when you create a topic then you're gonna subscribe to that topic using an email or a text and then whenever there is an alarm or the alarm goes off of any, any metric that you've been keeping track of you're gonna receive an email saying hey that this is what's going on all right that's kind of like what we're doing here so we go to the simple notification service if you look here we we have nothing now we go back to our code here and by the way i'm using visual studio code that's why it looks like like this which you can install on your uh on any machine that you have all right so let's go to the terminal when running a when running using terraform to deploy your 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 system to deploy your uh infrastructure make sure that first you go to the to the to the directory the working directory where your terraform configuration files reside and and this is where i am if i do the I do ls you see the four files here and this, these are the files, the files that we'll be using to deploy our infrastructure. The first thing that you do is to initialize your uh, working directory here. We're gonna initialize, meaning that it connects, it talks to Terraform, and and, and, and uh, uh, actually it talks to uh, uh, Ashicorp install. Uh, the, the necessary packages as well as using the latest version of uh, the HashiCorp uh, AWS packages and dependencies that you uh, libraries that you need so what uh, when this is done now we are going to plan and review our infrastructure by using this command terraform plan you're gonna see here that it's uh, uh, it's gonna display what we will eventually be deploying uh, here what you see we're gonna add six resources six resources here and then here's the list of what we will be creating or provisioning or even deploying not even but what will be deploying <laughs> all right okay after reviewing our plan and this is this is what we want to do right okay so no changes necessary here then we go ahead and do the apply the terraform apply we're gonna now apply those terraform configurations it's gonna ask us to uh, review again and see okay is this what you want to do if you say yes then it's gonna apply all of those uh, configuration files or settings and as you can see here we have 
now out the output of log group name, log stream name, and the SNS topic ARN as we wanted. Following, you, you know, everything was uh, 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 displayed in the configuration files here. So that's what we wanted. Let's go to the console. You're going to see that we have a log group with this name, a log stream name, a log stream name, log stream name with this name here. And then we will also see an SNS topic with this name. So we go to our console. So let's start with the SNS you know, before applying the Terraform configuration files, there was nothing here, right? What I do, I just refresh page. And here we are. We have our SNS topic created. If you click on the SNS topic created, you can now uh, publish a message or do whatever you want to do with this. But usually what you do, you create a subscription here. See here, and when you create a subscription, you it is like asking somebody to subscribe to this topic. We will not do that in this video, and that will be probably a, a, a lesson for the next video, one of the next videos. Let's go back here and look for CloudWatch and see if our log group has been created. So we go to the log group here, and what you see. This is our group here, log group. You click there, see here, that's our log group. And this log group should be associated with the log stream that we also created with this name. That's pretty much what I wanted to demo uh, in this video regarding how you can provision, deploy, a cloud watch log group, a cloud watch log stream, in and and an SNS topic to which you can subscribe users and using actually emails or the, uh, phone numbers for uh, text messages. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I will see you in the next video. God bless you.